Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Yesterday, I was able to finally see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Going into this movie, my expectations were really high, and I can happily say this movie exceeds my expectations like triple. So going into this, we all knew that this was going to be James Gunn's final movie with Marvel, which is really unfortunate, but that also means that we knew this movie was going to be amazing because he's going to go out with a bang. And, and I could say James Gunn did not disappoint in this movie. I thought he did a fantastic job wrapping up these characters' stories and just this, this, this story in general, and also maybe setting up some new stories for the future of Marvel. But for an overview, this movie was so good. It was heartfelt, it was emotional, it was action-packed, it was, it was hilarious, it was everything you want from a Marvel movie, from a superhero movie, is in this movie. And, and when I say this movie is emotional, I mean it. At least 75% of this movie, I was tearing up, and there were parts where I was just full-on crying, just because how emotional this movie is. And it's not even bad parts. It was good, it was sad tears, it was happy tears, it was literally everything. It was just like pulling on my heartstrings the whole time. And even after this movie, I looked around the theater, and there was not a dry eye there. So this movie, I thought, handled the emotions um, perfectly. But the great thing about the emotion in this movie is it didn't take away from that Guardians feel. It still, it still felt like a Guardians movie. It still had that 80s vibe. It was still funny. It was still comedic. It still had the action. It just had some more serious tones added in. And the action in this movie is amazing. There's one particular action scene near the end of this movie that quite possibly might be my favorite action scene in the whole MCU, other than maybe the final scene in Endgame. But the way this action scene was shot, the music behind it, everything about it was so cool. And don't even get me started on the soundtrack for this movie. This is probably the best soundtrack I have ever heard for any movie. Now to get into more, now to get a little bit more into specifics, going into this movie, one of the things that I was really worried about is how they were going to handle Gamora and their relationship with the other Guardians, especially Peter. But I thought they did a great job with her story in showing that this isn't the same Gamora. This is a Gamora that doesn't know these Guardians and doesn't care about them at all. But throughout the movie, to see her character develop into somebody that was really likable, I thought that that was really fun to see. And all of her scenes with Star-Lord were hilarious, but they were also really sad if you kind of just sat there and thought about it. Because he lost the love of his life, but and she's back now, but she doesn't care about him at all. Another thing I want to talk about in this movie is Rocket. He has probably... One of the most emotional stories I've ever seen on the big screen. The way they show his backstory and just how brutal it was, how bad the High Evolutionary treated him, how they torch how he tortured the animals, it was all just horrifying. And even and even when they're not showing it, they make sure you know how brutal it is. There's a part in this movie where some of the guardians are learning a little bit more about his backstory and just seeing what the High Evolutionary did to him. And the things they say and the like the like what they do is so sad to see. Now, since I'm talking about the High Evolutionary, I might as well say this. He was amazing in this movie, and I hated him so much. In the best way possible. He is easily the most evil villain in the MCU. Every- the, the things he does, there's nothing good about him. Every time he's on screen, you just hate him more and more. And I have to say, the actor who played him, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to butcher his name and then be embarrassed but he did an amazing job and he might have probably one of the most like the best performances in the MCU in the past couple years he did so good but dude but guys this villain he is so evil the things he does to these animals cutting them open torturing them and, like nothing about him you will like you can't like anything about this guy he is just he's just evil but he is, but this guy is not like any other MCU villain. All the other villains, you can kind of see where they're coming from almost, because they have tragic backstories. This guy is just evil. You have no sympathy for him, and he, like, I hate him so much. There's nothing good about him. And something I really wanted to touch on in this review is how James Gunn handles these characters in this movie and their stories. He respects every single character, every single actor, every, every character's story in this movie, and he gives all of them their chance to shine. You know, we've seen so many movies in the past where a lot of the characters are pushed to the side so one or two characters can get the spotlight. James Gunn does not do that in this movie. He gives everybody the respect they deserve because it's their final time playing these characters. But in my eyes, this movie, but in my eyes, this movie was perfect and I wouldn't change a single thing about it. If you're looking for a movie that'll make you ball your eyes out or just looking for a really good and emotional story, I definitely recommend seeing this movie. 
But overall, I'd give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 a 9 out of 10. You know, maybe in a couple of weeks, my rating will go up. Maybe it'll go down a little bit after the hype dies down. But right now, I love this movie. I think it is the perfect Guardians movie. And it solidifies Guardians as the best trilogy. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider subscribing. Because I have my spoiler review of this movie coming out on Sunday. And, and, later that and later that day, I will be going live on the channel to talk to you guys about this movie. And to hear your guys' opinions about the movie. So make sure to stop by.